Hi everyone, it's Tara. So today I'm going to share with you some spring and Easter themed paper clips that I've been working on, as well as these cute little gift holders that I made for the paper clips to go into. But first, I want to show you some other little clips that I made. So I created these leprechaun paper clips out of stickers that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I used the paper clip blanks and I showed these on my last uh, clip video where I get these clips from the Dollar Tree and I remove the little epoxy part and that gives me a nice space to add whatever I want so that's what I did here and um, these are stickers so I added some glitter onto the back and I got that idea from my friend Anna who is Serenity Creations I'm gonna leave a link down below to her channel and her video where she shared how she added the glitter. I thought that was such a great idea and it just makes it look pretty on the back as well. So that's those. And then I also played around with making some clips out of erasers. I had never done that before and these erasers came from the Target dollar spot and all I did was cut a little slit in the eraser and then I added some glossy accents and then stuck in my paper clip. So that's how those came out. And these really pretty bright colored paper clips also came from the Dollar Tree. It's like a neon collection and um, they have a lot of bright colors so that's where I got those from. So I did those and then I also made some of these pom-pom clips and I bought these paper um, these pom-poms a few weeks ago at Target in their dollar spot and I knew I wanted to make paper clips out of them but I wasn't really sure how people were making paper clips with them um, I tried to do a search and all the results came back with the kind of pom-poms where you wrap the yarn and um, so I couldn't find I didn't find anything as far as um, using these kind of clips or these kind of pom-poms I'm sorry so once I sat down and and figured it out it was really easy so all I did was kind of spread the pom-pom apart till you get to like that middle section you can kind of see where it's gathered together and I just added a little bit of E6000. You can also use hot glue. And then I just put my paper clip in there and, you know, scrunched it together and then set it aside to dry. So in case you were wondering how these were made, that's how I made mine. Because I wasn't sure. Once I figured it out, I was like, duh. <laughs> but anyway, so I made these. And I really wish that, that um, this little package here came with some of the pink see how the they have like the pink glittery ones I really wish they had the bigger size of these because I really love these so if you guys know where to find these glittery pom-poms please let me know because I would love to make some more um, of these you know using different colors and then this one here I actually added some of this lemongrass essential oil. I just added a few drops to it and it smells so good. So that's another idea that you can use and this can be clipped right to your car vent. So as your heat or air is you know blowing then the essential oil will disperse you know the scent will disperse in your car. So I did those those came out really cute and okay so now let me show you these here so I created these little holders and I made something very similar to these um, on my last paper clip video it was like a Valentine's Day themed I hadn't decorated any of them I was just kind of playing around and making them but for this one I used a 6 by 12 sheet of paper and I should probably do a tutorial on that because it's really easy they're really easy to create and it just makes you know gifting these little paper clips fun and really cute so 
um, I just used some six by a six by twelve sheet of paper, and these cute little doilies I got from Michaels. I recently picked these up. They were on sale last week for a dollar fifty, and these were in the baking section. And it says Mother's Day, but I really love the colors, and I knew that they would coordinate with this paper collection. The paper that I used is. Um, from Echo Park and I believe it's called Sunny Days and then these stickers here came from the Target dollar spot and I know I showed these in a haul video so that's those so yeah so I just layered the doilies and flapped you know half of it around and added the cute little sticker it says egg hunt and those stickers down there so on the inside you'll see these cute felt eggs that I made into paper clips I added another little sticker up there it says happy Easter so these felt eggs came from Michaels and they're stickers and they were kind of plain but I wanted to so I wanted to dress them up a little bit so I added stickles here and I also added some bling and some pearls there so they're the same on both sides. I just stuck, you know, the stickers back to back. I did add a little bit of glossy accents in between just to ensure, you know, that they're a little more stable. But I think they came out so cute. And then for the grass, I recently picked up the Recollections Color Splash crayons and I want to do a little demo on these so that's why I didn't do a haul video because I really want to demo these for you guys which I will do uh, but I used the green uh, watercolor crayon and I just did some watercoloring on some mixed media paper and then I just cut I used my Martha Stewart fringe scissors to make the little cuts there and then I just grabbed some regular scissors and just kind of did like a little scallopy thing, you know, along the top. But I love the watercolor crayons. I hope you can see the shimmer in them. So pretty. So I can't wait to demo those for you guys, and I'll do that very soon. And then along the bottom here, I just added some of this uh, washi tape that I got from the Dollar Tree really cute and so like I said they're the same on both sides and then to create the little opening I used this uh, flag punch and I shared that on my last video too where I was kind of showing you how I made these little holders but like I said I'll probably go ahead and do a little tutorial because they are very easy to put together so that is that one and then here's the back I just kind of continued that washi tape around the back and then stamped a little handmade by on a little sticker there okay so that's that one thought that came out really cute and then this one here um, I decorated the front by using some of this um, Heidi Swap washi tape and it just says adorbs and then I created this little band here using this sequin bow and the sequin bow came from AliExpress I have a bunch of colors of these and they're really fun to use so if you're interested in uh, where I got these I'll leave a link down below as well so I think that came out really cute and it's a little bit loose um, I probably should have made it tighter but actually this is meant to be reused so I know that the person that this is going to she is a planner girl so um, she can easily just cut off she can easily cut off the um, elastic and make like her own planner um, band so that you know was like I said it was meant to be reused but I think that came out really pretty and then here I made her some of my bottle cap charm clips um, up at the top here I'll show you that first I just again layered some of those doilies and added some stickers really cute and then here this is another uh, it's like a felt sticker that also came from Target 
so I love the way that these came out I hope that she enjoys them so let's take one out here if I can all right so here is the little bottle cap oh and the stickers that I use that would be important to show you wouldn't it so when I purchased these I got these from Walmart and I knew that I wanted to make bottle cap charms out of them and they fit perfectly into the bottle caps um, if you're looking for the flattened bottle caps with the holes I purchased these um, quite a while ago but if you do a Google search for bottle caps with holes a bunch of sellers will come up so here is this one and I just added some beads that coordinate with the sticker and then here's the back again I use one of those Dollar Tree blanks so I love the way that came out and then across the top of the holder um, again is some Heidi Swap washi tape and it just says you make me happy so here's this one it just says sorry for that glare but it says jelly bean and I coordinated the little beads to match with the little jelly beans on the sticker and then this one I oriented so it can go sideways and the little charms just hang down like that so I think that one came out really cute too and then there's the back so super super cute I hope that she enjoys these they were a lot of fun to make um, and I did make some other ones that just didn't fit in you know it's only three of them that go in there but here's the other ones the other bottle cap charms that I made so this one just says excellent and there's the beads that kind of coordinate with the little eggs on that sticker again there's the back and then this one here with, it just has a sun and I like using images like this because it can go either way so it can be hung sorry guys so it can be hung if it will focus it can be hung like that or it can be you know placed in sideways like that so that is my share for today I hope that you guys like them please let me know what you think give this video a thumbs up if you like them and are inspired to you know make some spring and Easter themed clips like I said I will go ahead and do a little tutorial on how you can create the holders because they are very fun to make and it gives a nice presentation so um, yeah thank you again so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next video bye